Hiya guys, Terry from Smooth Watch up here again with another Electricity Gadget Review and Build Series. Right, so I have an ESD bag here. Um, oh, from KK Moon, I got it from Amazon. What it is, it's their part number's XR2206 and they're saying it's a high precision function signal generator. A DIY kit, it does... Uh, I think three different um, signal outputs, sine wave, triangle wave, square, square wave, one hertz to one megahertz, and it's adjustable. So this is to go with a little uh, DSO unit that I, I built my wee oscilloscope. So yeah, let's have a look at what you get in the pack. Now, when I purchased this from Amazon, it was $7.99. So I've got Prime. So that included my shipping and delivery obviously it might be different um where you are but let's just see what we get in the kit for less than a tenner a little kit something for you to do so we have a bag with some laser cut acetate parts or acrylic and a pcb in there we have a bag of lots of parts in here we'll get a closer look in a minute we have a bag of screws and nuts, which will be for putting all the acrylics together. And it's a non-ESD. Um, <laughs> they'd be better sticking. These chips are sensitive to electrostatic discharge, so they've got a socket there, right? And a chip. Now, this chip, let's see if we can get the number for you. Can we get the number? I'll tell you what it is. It's an XR2206CP. Now, this chip itself is what does all the sine waves and the generation and everything like that. It's If you actually look up that part number, um, it's no longer available. It's obsolete. But obviously, there's a lot of them going about the Chinese Chingseng markets, and they have decided to make a little kit up. Um to make a little signal generator, but all the work is done by this chip. Um, so yeah, um, XR2206CP, uh, no date mark on it, but that's basically what this whole kit is based around, is this little chip set. We get uh, some instructions, uh, basically a, now you can pause this at your leisure, obviously the layout, what all the parts are, even tells you um, if they're polarity sensitive. Um, now this is where the Chinglish comes in, the welding installation considerations, uh, welding, soldering. Um, the components are welding the front board from low to high principles, namely the first low welding components, such as capacitor resistor. In other words, when you're soldering stuff on, do the lower profile stuff first. Welding IC socket, terminal blocks, finally power socket, adjustable potentiometer, welding, soldering. Uh, the back with a diagonal cutting pliers to cut short the pins. In other words, trim all your legs. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still getting over man flu. Debugging steps. Uh, pay attention to the chip. Uh, this is total chinglis. Check the IC whether against such as anti please timely correction. Uh, just make sure you put it in the right way around with pin 1. Works on 9 to 12 volts. Um, supply more than 12 volt. The output put waveform is unstable. Yeah, so probably better doing about uh, 9 volts if you can. Uh, using the step, if jumper one is in, so that's just how you adjust the waves. So it's telling you jumper in such and such a position, it'll do this. Um, amp sine wave, fine course frequency, and actually gives you a schematic. That's all it gives you. But I can't foresee this being very difficult if it's all run off of one chip. So in this bag, you get. Doo -doo 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 -doo. You get some laser cut stuff. Ooh, cool. So which will be the little box it sits in. Oh, uh oh, 
keep that, that's a, that'll do for a wee light pipe and a little bit of clear acetate there. I'll stick that somewhere, that'll do. Um, so we get the bits for sticking all the box together. A PCB. Obviously they're covered in the cardboard that you've got to peel off and it can be a bit difficult, but uh, there you go. It's all been printed. Um, so that's top, bottom, sides, you know. So it's going to be... Oh, there's the back side. Back side, front side. There's obviously going to be an output at one side, so that's why there's a cut out in there and an output on the other side. So all kind of slot together. Don't know where the outputs are, which side it goes to yet, so I'm just kind of slapping it together. And then this all sits on the top, and then you screw all that together. Obviously, with all the cardboard and stuff off. And it makes you a nice little box for your gadget. So anyway, yeah, I'm not going to waste too much time on that, but mm -mm, aye, it kind of... It's all, all tabs together, it's all a series of tabs, so you're going to end up with a unit about this size. With a wee circuit board inside. Um, three potential bars coming out the front. You know, input, input. There doesn't look to be a lot to it. Let's have a quick look at the PCB itself. Um, everything is outlined and well labelled. Uh, this is showing all the capacitors. That's an electrolytic, another capacitor there. So it's like a header of some description. Uh, this is possibly power. Um, I've not checked yet, but it's junction one. That looks like a power input for your 9 volts DC. A uh, couple of resistors there. Uh, resistor there, that's obviously uh, potentiometer, 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 another resistor, that's your main socket for your main chip, a couple of resistors, and this will be your, your output uh, for your square, what's that got on it, square wave, ground, triangle wave, sine wave, so that'll be what you connect all your, your outputs to. Um, Double-sided board in red um, solder mask. That looks nice enough. So that's that. Obviously, there's screws as screws. In this bag, we have all the components, which I shall just rumble out here. There you come. Because the next bit's a bit I like is soldering it all together. So there's no transistors or anything like that. It's a one chip solution. So we have three, give you three nice little knobs for um, your pots. Uh, we have three potentiometers. Uh, does it say what K they are on them? I can measure them, but. Uh, yeah, three potentiometers, better known as variable resistors. So that'll be used for adjusting all your amplitudes and everything. And of course, the little caps just go on at the top of them. So very nice. So we'll have three potentiometers. As I say, I think the component count on this will be quite low. Um, so three potentiometers. Right, this is for the outputs. And it's these horrible screw clamp type things. Not a big fan of them. But uh, yeah, that's for your, your outputs, which will go on one end of the board, which is, I am assuming, is just in there like that, you know. So you can have all your outputs actually it'll be the other way around, but there we go. Um, like so. And then you can put all your, your ground square wave sign and all that, and then you just clamp your... It would have been nicer if they had a BNC socket or something on it. <coughs> but for all it costs. And obviously that uh, fits through the cutout in the top as well. So we've got that. There's our 10 pin header. It's quite obvious where that goes. Into the board in there. Fits nicely. So we've got a wee 10 pin header there. We also have a 4 pin header. Must be a 4 pin header somewhere. Yeah, up there. That's for all your jumpers, for putting your jumpers between, for selecting your waveforms. Um, we have the jumpers. So this one's for selecting your waveforms. So it goes through the cutout and you basically bridge it between 
triangle on sign on that one and the jumpers on here that'll be for your frequencies i would i would expect uh, so you've got two jumpers uh there's your power right enough we nine volt uh dc jack i'll just sit on the board like so so that's nice and straightforward uh we've got three electrolytics uh, one bigger than the other two, so yeah, you're going to have um, one up here, and the other two are, there's one there, but obviously when you're fitting all these, you're going to fit the lowest components first, I'll go into that when I do the soldering part of it, but uh, to, for ease of soldering the board, so there's only three caps, uh, three electrolytics on it. One bigger than the other. What make are they? I'm um, just trying to see there. Sorry if I'm off camera a little bit. Tiny, tiny writing. Oh, God. What are they? Jackicon. Never heard of them. 16 volt, 100 microfarad. And... We're into the Chong ones again. Remember the Ching Chong ones and my other ones? So we're into Chong. 25 volt, 10 microfarad. I bet that's another 10. It is. So we've got two 10s and a 100 microfarad uh, electrolytics. Resistors. Don't know off the top of my head. Red, red, black. It's hard to tell with these. But we have two single ones that are just sort of kicking about that are different values. And then three together. So it'll be pretty self-evident. And we have, looks like, one, two, three, four, five, five um, capacitors. What's that? Two, two, two. I need to look under the microscope. I can't actually read that there, but we've got... Five ceramic capacitors, and that's your lot. So basically, you, have, you, you, have, you solder this kit together, and you make a little sine wave generator. So this is a nice short video for a change. Um, so that's what you get in the kit. I'll put uh, links in down below um, to for the Amazon link that I purchased it from, because I'm a, an affiliate. So if you do fancy getting one of these to go along with your DSO shell, or even just fancy a little project um, <coughs> to practice your soldering for under a tenner. Put a link below if you order for that. I get a tiny little cut off the top of it, but that's fine. Um, also, uh, please remember to uh, like and subscribe. Feel free to leave comments in the section down below. Things like that. Keep it constructive. Uh, I'll also put a link up for my. Um, oh, I forgot it now. Patreon, my Patreon uh, channel. Um, you don't have to donate to it uh, Tears start for a dollar a month But it helps it helps towards me getting wee kits like this To share with you guys um, So the link for that will be popped up And until the next video Which will be building it ooh, um, I'll see you then So enjoy your hobby Terry from Smooth Watch Up See you later